this edition of HGTV Morning Announcements, Building with Assists, some artwork you may miss, and some more information on this. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm tired. And I'm Nolan. Well, for lunch, in lines one and two, we're going to have a General Tso chicken. Line three, soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. Line four, leftover hot dogs and cheeseburgers and a sorted four by six pizza. And line five's closed. And a happy birthday goes out to Carly Besler, Ivana Lopez, Christian Mora, Edwin Mora, and Mari Lou Castro. Not a sports with Nick. Thanks, Nolan. The boys track team finished 10th in the sectional meet last night. Top scores include Alanis, Wilkins, Ventura, and Longoria Rocha, pl placing 8th in the 4x800. Hugo Hernandez placing 8th in the 3200. Evan Jordan placing 6th in the 200 and 4th in the high jump. Alex Kimboa placing 8th in the 400. And Hernandez, Kimboa, Craig, and Molinax placing 6th in the 4x400. There will be a mandatory boys and girls track meeting Monday at 3 p.m. right after school on the stairs by the Ox Gym. All track athletes should attend whether they were in the postseason or not, so that important topics can be discussed. There will also be a call at me next Tuesday at 2.50 right after school for those intending to play basketball next year. Summer, summer schedule plans will be discussed at the meeting. The girls varsity tennis team sectional match was postponed yesterday due to rain. It has been rescheduled for today at 5.30. Make sure to go out and support the team as they will be taking on Western Boone. The other team in action tonight is the varsity baseball team as they will be hosting Crawfordsville with the first pitch being thrown at 6. That's it for sports on this Friday morning. Now back on over to you, Nolan. Gotcha. This is a girls only week long camp where you can experience working on cars, construction things from wood, learning about home electrical wiring, and welding metal. The camp is June 24th to the 28th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with lunch provided. Online registration is available now. Just check out one of the flyers posted around the school for more information. If you have any questions beyond the information provided, see Mr. Blunt, Mr. Munier, or Mr. Smith. There will be a lost and found table across the bookstore in the main entrance hallway today. Only now. So today, only now. So be sure to stop and look to see if any of the lost items are yours. Because what doesn't get picked up just might get picked up by me. But if you ended up losing something more valuable, like jewelry or keys, please check with Mrs. Jamison. Make sure to come out to Strides for Stacy tomorrow. If you have not yet registered to participate in the fund, it's not too late. You can register on site for $10. Just make sure that you have a parent signature on the registration form if you're under 18. There are registration forms available at the bookstore or from your favorite NHS member. The race will begin at the FHS flag pools at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. All medication brought to the health clinic this year must be picked up before summer break. Make sure to stop by during fifth period this week to take your medication home. If you've left any artwork in Mr. Clark's room, please pick it up by the end of the school year. If you don't, be prepared to see it go up in flames at homecoming in the fall. Maybe you want it to burn. I don't know. It could be some weird modern art that shows the volatility of life when one's left to their own devices. You know, or something like that. Tonight is the final Hooligans Improv Show of the year. It's going to be a comedy sports night, so come to the theater and watch as alumni Jordan Flora and Luke McLaughlin lead the two teams in a battle of mind and body. Seeing as this is the last improv show of the year, this is also the last opportunity to see the legend, Cole Regal, in action before graduation. I mean, there are more seniors than just him, but he's a legend, so he's just a main selling point. The show, <coughs> pardon me, the show begins at 7 in the theater, and tickets are $5. Pretty good deal if you ask me. So, yeah, that, that's it, huh? Well, you know, hit, hit that like button and, you know, do the subscribes and, yeah, come back Monday or, or don't. It, it's okay either way, man. Hey, go to the improv show. You get to see me make a complete tool out of myself purely for your enjoyment. Or see me, Simo, make a complete tool out of myself purely for your enjoyment. Or 
see me, see no one, see me, make it to the two hours, no curly for our own, you will enjoy it. Or, see me, see me, see me, see me. See me.